Hello guys. So today is September 3. Uh, this is a new series, a new playlist where we will be answering queries of uh, questions which is uh, repeatedly being asked. Okay, like students uh, contact us on WhatsApp and most of the queries are very generic and very uh, open kind of questions which can be the same query which other aspirants also have. So because we have to invest more time on other uh, productive things, we thought of uh, compiling the queries which we get each day and then make it a video format so that uh, when others see this video, they will also get the answer. And again, we don't have to sit and type them, type with them or spend time with them. Okay, so it's just to save both of our time, this uh, series is being done and everything it will be maximum two to five minutes. Okay, every day because some days there will be no queries. Okay, uh, today like three, four queries I have taken the most common ones. So uh, the queries are any use join 2020 test series now because uh, we have been showing the uh, daily uh, revision series and we have been telling that uh, test series is still open. So people are asking this and it's a valid query. So we'll tell that then how many months current affair is needed to study for UPSC. This is another query which students ask. Then should we do Tamil Nadu textbook of NCRT? Okay, oh, sorry, of history. Okay, because we tell uh, his, uh, NCRT, we tell uh, other standard textbook of standard authors. So should we do Tamil Nadu textbook of history? This is one question which again students ask. Then can working aspirants clear UPSC, which is a very uh, generic question again. All these things we have answered already in multiple places, but we thought we'll put it in a single video series playlist. Okay, so first thing, any use joining 2020 test series. Uh, joining test series is different thing and starting your studies is different thing okay like suppose you are someone who have not done anything for 2020 or you have been lazily wasting your time for many months and all and then you are thinking like you will buy a test series and then you will clear the exam nothing of that sort is going to happen okay so we don't give any false, false promises or all these things all the things we do is in a discipline format okay even 2021 two batches of prelims have already started one in june month and one in august month and they are studying in a weekly weekly scheduled way okay so that way 2020 students also have been doing with us since last june 2019 and now uh, we have again compiled it into revision packs so that the people who did all the hard work can get them and then revise it so if you are someone like that who have done enough hard work and now need genuine question answers and then little bit explanations and all that is where this will help okay but practically if you see 63 test is not practically possible to get completed okay in 30 days nobody can study that much because each test is a 100 to 150 page pdf so that many pdfs in 30 days that too in our latest final timetable which we gave it's like three three tests you have to do in a day only then you can complete it so that way, if you are ready to do the work and you are already a veteran student, you know a lot of things and looking for just question and answer because explanation, you may not need it uh, yourself because you know the things already, just you want to practice, then maybe this will help you. Else you can go for the uh, individual packages, meaning you are weak in spectrum, you want to revise spectrum, by spectrum only. And if it's all the history, you can buy the history itself because spectrum is a subset of that. Okay, then NCRT alone, if you forgot to do or you could not do, then you can get NCRT or geography, environment, science, you are weak, you can get that. Polity, you are weak, you can get that. Polity, again, it's not given with explanations. The uh, questions which are based on Lakshmikant, we will give the page number and edition number, chapter 4 or chapter 5 and the page number also 5.6, 5.8. So exactly from there, you have to go and read the paragraph. Okay, because there is no point copy pasting Lakshmikant explanation to a PDF. Okay, because they are a different author and we don't want to use that. The questions which is there, it's all genuine and all taken from the PDF uh, textbook only. Uh, seven test, I think. Remaining three tests is our own questions which we made uh, based on this thing, the UPSC syllabus. Okay. Then revision chart and snippet card is there. Economics with economic survey is there. Current affair of whichever month you need of the last four five years is there. So depending on that depending on where you stand you can decide and you can get it okay so this is the answer for students who are thinking of like suddenly when you saw, realize like exam is 30 days away and you want to join something this is what you should do and this doesn't apply only to ICIS any channel anywhere you're going to join the series now you just know that there is only 30 days and if it's practically possible for you to put 8-10 hours every day and then revise it and practice it it will be helpful else please don't enroll whatever you have been doing till now continue to do that and then directly go to give the prelims and after that in case you fail then you can think of 2000 21 enrollment okay so decide that it's your personal choice and your personal ability okay so this is the first question now how many months current affair to study for UPSC the UPSC is uh, this problem is that it will ask questions from anywhere okay and 99% of the time it happens like the questions come from the last uh, 12 to 15 months okay that is from where the question comes meaning 12 to 15 months before the prelims date we are talking only about prelims now okay uh, for mains it will be more but for prelims, 12 to 15 months is what we need. But still, there can be occasions where some very famous summit which happened in 2008, 2009, 
okay these kind of things they ask sometimes but that will be maximum in a question paper of uh, 100 questions maximum three to four questions will come okay in case if it's extreme also three to four else only one question will come but still these are things which you cannot ever prepare you cannot prepare a 10 year old current affair okay so but when you prepare a body or organization summit see to it that when it's first summit happened or when it's origin happened because you you see if they're asking such things it will be only about the first summit not like the second summit or third summit okay so generally what we tell students is do at least uh, 24 months of current affair okay meaning if it is uh, uh, like suppose october 4 now october 4 is your prelims so you should do october uh, 4 2018 at least okay 2018 to 2020 October so that will give you uh, 24 months of current affair so like that if you do you will be a little more safer okay and it will give you more knowledge also because current affair does not mean somebody will teach you some numbers or money or day they will obviously teach you the body only like suppose some SARC summit happened in some year in 2018 the question will be 90% based on the uh, body which is the theory part so obviously it will be helpful only you are not studying any uh, uh, invalid data so it's okay to study older current affair okay that is the answer for that 24 months is the safest thing for a serious aspirant when you're preparing for one year fully then tamil nadu textbook of history so history books i have already shown you in my book list video if you have not seen go and watch this many students have watched it and appreciated it because we have covered every aspect of it including Rajya Sabha tv so for in everything if you see ncrt is the core thing where you will get everything okay class 6 to 10th and then 6 to 8th is important and then class 12th is important okay class 11 they do some world history thing okay which will be more important for means and class 9 also has very irrelevant chapters okay this one is uh, class 9 because it's, it's repetition but class 6 7 8 and uh, class 12 is uh, very important for you okay then there will be a uh, spectrum whichever edition is fine we have taken a very old edition uh, with 20 chapters you can go and see but it covers everything right from Vasco da Gama's uh, coming into India till India gets independence then world history these are the books uh, where uh, Indian Arjun Dev book is there or this uh, Norman law book is there for uh, uh, like a foreign author and then you have art and culture where Nathan Singhania book is there and the class 11th uh, fine arts textbook is there and then R. Sharma and uh, Satish Chandra this itself you do almost everything is covered but some uh, students prefer uh, the other language non NCRT language and that is where Tamil Nadu textbooks comes into picture so here if you see it is uh, uh, 10th 11th 12th and here also ancient medieval modern and world is there so one benefit is if you do that you will be more ready for mains okay but i don't think there is any separate fact which is there in tamil nadu textbook and which is not there in ncrt or the standard textbooks and you will miss out on something okay even if you miss it will be one or two points so that doesn't make a huge difference and uh, better thing is if you are studying for a one full year do everything do tamil nadu textbook also because this will be more helpful for your mains because all the world history thing like american revolution french revolution all those things are detailedly done there okay so see to it that you do both if you are a one year uh, detailly studying aspirant but now in the last minute and all please don't do anything new okay 2020 aspirant please don't touch uh, Tamil Nadu textbook for the first time whatever you did NCRT spectrum R. Sharma Satish Chandra that is more than enough because almost every question is answerable from here itself okay in my test at least every test was uh, helping every history questions to be solved okay so that's the answer for Tamil Nadu textbook importance no okay, can working aspirants do so working aspirants problem is uh, it's your choice that you are not uh, leaving your job so obviously you have to have see that or understand that you have a disadvantage you will not get that uh, 10 or 12 hours which a serious aspirant is doing if he's going to coaching class obviously six hours he'll sit in coaching class then three hours he'll sit at home two hours he'll watch youtube video he will totally study 12 hours okay including newspaper reading and all you people because you have this eight hours of job remaining only four hours or five hours you can spend extra okay so that is like you have to realize it you have to first itself know this fact and you have to accept that fact okay and this full process of your exam preparation is about time management okay so if you can't manage time then you can't clear this exam okay you obviously have to and also if you're a, a married person you are like a, a mother of a young kid or something because that kind of queries come like i'm like this i have only two hours per day what should i do what should i do means you are you yourself know the answer you have only two hours means you can only study two hours you cannot um, take away all those things which you have now okay your marriage life or your job if you cannot find time you cannot find time you cannot ask a question to a mentor or a teacher like what should i do you have that two hours use it effectively okay two hours also if you study every day or saturday sunday you get maybe four hours or five hours or maybe a little bit extra you have to do that you have to put in a lot more effort than the other people do okay other people will be reading newspapers in uh, one and a half hour, one hour you have to do it in 30 minutes okay or they are taking ncrt textbook and they are like allotting four days for reading history ncrt you have to do it in two days you have to do that speed reading you have to improve your language skills you have to do everything speed okay so that is your choice that you are not leaving the job okay so 
others who don't have a job they have the disadvantage that they don't have any income they don't have any salary they are sitting at home maybe at parents expense or maybe some other thing they are doing part time and that is how they are also sacrificing so you cannot tell like you are at a disadvantage okay whatever time you have make a timetable according to that a long term one and a short term one meaning daily weekly monthly and yearly and then work on it so the more you manage time the more you will manage this exam and you can clear because every year toppers if you see in the top 5 rank at least two of them will be working as parents only every year you can go and check the rank result okay so it's, this can we clear what to do how to do you should first accept the fact that you have only lesser time and you will be ready to dedicate your available time in the uh, double uh, potential way okay meaning you will work double the way the others are doing double than the others okay the normal aspirants so these are the four questions for today and hope you follow you are following this uh, daily revision challenge every day it will come uh, day 2 episode was there today now day 3 will come tomorrow so please see to that you improve your score like this every day and uh, be familiarized with upsc mcq solving because this exam is not about reading books this exam is about solving skills okay Pro uh, exam um, mcq solving skills so i'll come up with the next video soon till then enjoy your learning thank you and have a nice day